Welcome back to the Anatomy Lab. Today we're going to talk about foam rolling. A lot of people use foam rollers, but do you know what's actually happening in your body when you roll? In this video we are going to explore how foam rolling helps release muscle tension, boosts circulation and improves the mobility of your spine. And as a bonus, we'll explain exactly why you sometimes hear that popping sound when you roll. Let's start with something many of you are familiar with, muscle tension. When your muscles are overly tense, they create resistance and limit how easily you can move or how far you can stretch into a forward bend, for example. Inside your muscles are tiny sensors known as Golgi tendon organs and muscle spindles. These sensors detect how much tension your muscles are holding. When you use a foam roller, it stimulates these sensors, prompting them to signal the brain to release tension. This allows your muscles to gradually relax, giving them more flexibility and range of motion. Foam rolling also boosts circulation. Imagine your blood vessels like a river flowing through your muscles. Rolling clears the path, sending more oxygen and nutrients to help your muscles recover faster and to stay healthy. Another interesting function of foam rolling is its effect on the spine. When you roll along your back, you gently creating space between the vertebrae, allowing them to move more freely. Foam rolling can also help to hydrate the spinal discs, which act as cushions between the vertebrae. The gentle pressure encourages the exchange of nutrients and fluids, which keeps the discs healthy and flexible. In addition, foam rolling also stimulates the small muscles along the spine and helps to release tension and improve your overall movement. This increased mobility can reduce stiffness, improves your posture and supports better spinal health over time. Let's quickly talk about the popping sound that we all love so much. This happens because the small facet joints between your vertebrae, which guide the movement of your spine, readjust and return to their natural position under the pressure of the foam roller. Your ribs, which are also guided by the facet joints, can be another reason for the sound. As the joints where your ribs connect to your spine shift back into place, they release pressure and this produces the familiar popping sensation. It all starts with the joint capsule, which is a flexible structure surrounding the facet joints. As pressure is applied, the capsule adjusts and allows the joints to return to their natural position after they've shifted. Once the joints are back in place, tiny nitrogen gas bubbles trapped in the synovial fluid are released due to the pressure shift. After the gas escapes, the synovial fluid, which is a lubricating liquid inside the capsule, redistributes to fill the space left behind. This entire process happens almost instantaneous and ensures the joints remain lubricated and they continue to function smoothly. Let's also take a quick look at the technique of foam rolling. The speed at which you roll and the range of motion you use can create different effects. Rolling slowly allows your muscles more time to relax and actually releases tension. It's like a slow, deep massage. Faster movements, on the other hand, stimulate more the blood flow and warm up the muscles. But they don't give them as much time to fully relax. The range of motion also matters. Larger, slower movements cover more muscle tissue, which is great for overall relaxation. Meanwhile, smaller, more targeted movements can focus on specific tight spots that need your extra attention. In conclusion, we can say foam rolling helps with a lot of stuff. It improves muscle tone, circulation and spinal mobility. Just a few minutes of rolling can really help your body to recover and move more easily. It's like tuning an instrument for the perfect performance. However, be mindful, foam rolling isn't suitable for everyone. If you have any serious spinal issues, joint condition or recent injuries, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating it into your routine. I think this is everything I have for you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you want to add on to this list, just head to the comment section. If you want to support the channel, like and share this video, add me on Instagram or check out my online store. Most importantly, I look forward to see you in the next one. Stay curious and have a good one.